if you're somebody like me that's, that's, that's kinked up and you feel tension in, in your upper back or lower back or the mid back even, anywhere. it just, it feels like even just that adjustment alone is going to loosen you up and make you feel like your, your movement's back the way it was when, when you came out your mama's womb. <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Joseph Cipriano and today we have our patient here. <clears throat> so now, well you guys came from uh, Mississippi, Meridian, yeah. Mississippi. Yeah. Quite a distance. Yeah, yeah. So, glad to have you here. Absolutely. Um, now, obviously, with reading the paperwork and kind of talking with you, primarily we've got low back pain, mm -hmm. and then it's the lower neck, upper back right. pain as well. Um, so let's start off with the lower first. All right. How long has that been going on for? Uh, well, the, the low back pain started about a year ago. Okay. And uh, that was uh, from somebody jumping <laughs> on me, and I called them awkwardly and, uh, <laughs> just kind of tweaking ever since it's been giving me trouble okay Getting over lifting weights you know holding on your arms so gotcha so about a year with this one mm -hmm. and up top how long has that been going on for uh the neck <laughs> happened when i was 19 years old freshman in college so and, okay. that, and it's been off and on it gets real tense sometimes i can't turn and but i'm always it's always bothering me uh, okay. just sometimes a little more than others so gotcha and this, I know, I know you're telling me it's been, well, years of, you in high school, fo just football in general. Right, right. You know, so, taking heads and... Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, I first heard it, first heard it when I was probably about 17, when I, was, I played defensive end and caught a uh, helmet, or a knee to my helmet when I was coming through the line pulling guard. And then I heard it uh, at Mississippi State, where, where I played college, I heard, I heard it there after that. Okay. And, uh, and something I didn't mention, which I don't know if it's relative or not, but I currently do have a torn labrum, and so you, you can hear this. Hold on. I heard. I don't know what it's going to do. Oh, there, yeah. Oh, there it works okay. <laughs> yeah. So okay. I have, it pops back here, and then here in the middle and on the front. And okay. um, I intend to get surgery long term, but right now, as you see, my wife's pregnant. So, um, <laughs> yeah, we're doing July, first baby. Congratulations. So, thank you, thank you. So it'll be end of the year, definitely, before I do anything. So, anyway, I have that going on. You'll, you'll see, especially because, well, our son's thir 13 months now, going mm -hmm. on 14 months. Oh, wow, yeah. And lift, that lifting up and down all the time, he yeah. always wants he's to be. He's so yeah. heavy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's a bit. All that dead weight. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, for, for two short people, we got this huge, <laughs> this huge child. I don't know, I don't know where that one came from. <laughs> um, let me have you stand up for a minute. All right. All right, let's go through some ranges of motion. All right. Let me first have you look all the way up at the ceiling for me. Any pain, tenderness, tightness, pulling, anything like that? Uh, no, just a little bit on the base of my neck. Okay. Look down to the floor for me. Any issues with that? It's tight in the same spot. Same spot. Not painful at all. Just tight. Okay, back to center. Now, does that does that pain does it stay there? Do you ever notice it going down the arms? Anything like that? Um, yeah. So when it when it really acts up, yep. it gets into the traps real bad. You know. Okay. And um, just makes it painful to move like this. You know. So it gets to where I'm just I'll be real real stiff. And a lot of it I think comes from driving. I travel a lot, I drive a lot, so I think a lot of it comes from that. Okay. And um, you know, and, and then the way I sleep I think plays into it and all that. So Okay. Anyway. <laughs> Alright, let me have you bring one ear to one shoulder for me. Alright. Any issues with that side? Just tight. So yeah. Alright, go to the other side for me. Any issues with that? Same thing. Same, Same thing? Yeah. Alright. And then if you just look over either shoulder, any issues with rotation? Uh, no, it, it, it kind of, when I look that way, it kind of hurts right here. But Does it? Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, I just always kind of keep like a little mental note of everything. Um, let's drop down to the low back. So if you bend forward at the waist for me. All right. You want me to just bend over? If you can. Yeah. All right. Pain, tenderness, tightness, anything like that? Yeah, it's just real tight. Now, it's not as bad as it is can be. Okay. But, um, it's actually doing all right right now, but I've been on my feet a lot this week and uh, okay. everything's been bothering me. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, the last week I was to where I was having to brace myself to get over and all that. But um, So it's a little bit better right now, which is a good yeah, thing. Yeah, well, I, tr I try to stretch and do those things and that alleviates it some with the tension. But, gotcha. Yeah, so. Okay. Maybe go back like this. <clears throat> Any issues with that? No, just tight. tight. Yeah. <laughs> All right, going to either side for me. Uh -huh. Any issues with lateral flexion? No. Nope. Yeah. 
And then last one, we're going to check his rotation. Any issues with that? Mm. No. Well, that the on right hurt. It did hurt. Probably, yeah. Okay. All right. So yeah. Now I know you've gotten chiropractic care before. Never mm -hmm. have gotten uh, wise jack decompression technique. So. No, mine has really just been traditional. I mean, he has a uh, you know the table that drops and all that, but it's always been coming in. What's your problem? We'll work on that and then send you out. But uh, he's always helped me feel better. Just a local guy. Gotcha. Uh, so it's been just your basic care that I've ever had. Gotcha. All right, today's going to be a little bit different. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, let me have you lay face down for me. All right. And I'll have you just bring your hands right down here. Okay. All righty. So let's start off. We're going to scan the body. We're going to go from the cervical spine, checking the leg length, and then comparing the symmetry from the right side to the left side. So what we're going to do first, I'm just going to palpate. Just gonna be pushing in on the spine and the surrounding tissue. Let me know if anything is tender to the touch, okay? Well, it was weird when you poked the top of my neck. Was it? I felt it in my low back. Okay, so even up here, you're feeling issues down there. Yeah, on the right side. Okay. You know, hearing things move. Down, down there when you put the pressure is uncomfortable. Just a little low. Uh, right. Yeah, there and then a little, a little further up. Was, yeah. Right in here? Yeah. Okay. Let me see. Any issue over that right side? It, it's uncomfortable, yeah. Okay. What about directly over the sacrum? In the same spot there on the right. Okay. In the left side? It's, it's there. Let me do that. It's uncomfortable on the left as well. Okay. So I'm checking the leg length, pulls a little bit short on the right. I mean, it's not much at all, which is a good thing. So now when we look up at the hips, hips look level. And here we've got a little bit. So we're going to do, we're going to do two adjustments throughout the, like that middle portion of the back here. Um, I'll be doing those when you're, when I get you seated on the table. Um, let's go ahead first. We're going to use the massage device. I just want to relax everything. Then we'll get started with the adjustment. Right. There we go. How'd that feel? Uh, great. Good. Never had, had that thing, but I definitely <laughs> watched them. All. Those are nice. Yeah, those are called the Theragun. Yeah. And that one. Uh, I tried to get Lauren to get one for Christmas. It didn't work out the best. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to start with the T2 adjustment on that left side here. Oh, a good bit. Oh, yeah. Drop down just a little bit on the right. There we go. Deep breath in. And exhale out. One more time. Deep breath in. And out. Good. Actually looking looking better, which is a good thing. Um, let me have you sit up on the table for me. One leg on either side. So I'm gonna have you like straddle the table. <laughs> All compressed into the table. <laughs> okay. There we go. There we go. Alright. Bring this arm up and over. And that one up and over. So we're going to do the upper one first. So keep your thighs to the table. We're going to turn you this way. Look over the shoulder for me. Okay. Got the lower one down here. So we're going to rotate you this way. Look over that shoulder. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty tight. Huh? Pretty tight on that side. Yeah. All right. Lay face down again for me. All right. And I'll tell you, that I dealt with that a lot with my previous chiropractor when I first started going. Is I had to go multiple times to even get movement. Gotcha. Yeah, I, trust me, it, at times, when you, like when patients are very tight, you don't really want to force anything. Right. Forcing things are where you can start injuring pe like patients. Um, so yeah, that I didn't want to move, trust me, all that means is we'll get it on a different technique. So. We're going to stabilize the sacrum, raise the right leg up as high as you can for me. 
Any pain, tenderness, tightness with that? Uh, Alright, relax its head. Raise the left side for me. How does the left side feel compared to the feel, feel weaker? Left side felt weaker? Yeah. Alright, cross the left leg over the right leg for me. Perfect. Table is going to pop up from below you. Uncross, and we're going to bend that knee. I got you. I'm going to raise this leg up here. Let's get it a little bit more. Raise that left leg up for me. How's that feeling? Uh, no pain. Good. Good. That's what I like to hear. Yeah, it's still, I mean, it's almost perfect, but just about a millimeter off. Uh, what I want you to do, turn on your side. Face me this way, please. All right. Okay, we're going to bend that top leg. Good. Just gonna drop that shoulder. There we go. Good. Flip to the other side. Good, good. There we go. Good. Um, flat on your back. Alright. Alright, from here, oh, that, 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 that comes out, do From here, we're going to do um, leg pulls. Okay. So what I want you to do is just relax your legs, okay? Alright. Okay. Let's get you to stand up. Alright. I'll have you stand all the way up here. Come right here for me. I'll tell you, you'll find this funny. <laughs> um, are you about to do the arms out deal? Yep. I do that to people all the time. <laughs> I do she can attest. <laughs> Alright, got hands over my we we'll just lean back just a little bit. Yep, elbows together. One arm up and over, bring this one up and over here. Deep breath in. Exhale out. Good. Alright. Now we're gonna do that wide strap. Alright. So this is where you're gonna feel that decompression from up top. You wanna pull your hair through? Yeah. Going all the way down. Yep, relax your hands on your stomach for me. Let me see where that necklace go. Good. Oh! Yeah, that felt crazy. <laughs> <laughs> relax, relax. Alright. How would you describe that to someone? Uh, well, I think like many people describe it, it's just a <laughs> decompression of the spine. For me, mostly, it was in the neck, and then I felt it in the low back. Okay. So it was, um, but yeah, definitely um, a good feeling. Good. Good, good. Now, for you, just as I know, the years of basically compression that you've had with football. Right. Uh, we're going to do one more thing. 
But first, I'm going to have you sit up. All right. Just want to relax the body a little bit more. Oh. Hi there, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. You got my beard all out of whack. Really? <laughs> I can't see. I'm trying to base it off of your beard. <laughs> all right, let me have you look at my back, my forward. Yeah. Let's check that little back again. All right. Yeah, I mean, it, it feels night and day different from when I came in, no question. Good, good. And then it's, it's less than what it was when, but before we just did that, too. Was it? Yeah. yeah. Good. And, and I will say that my orthopedic told me that when I hurt it, because my knee was already hurt too, me limping probably helped set that in, in even more. So it's probably just, gotcha. you know, take a little time. But, yeah. But yeah, it, it, it feels much better. So. Good. We're getting that. And everything up top, that lower. Yeah, I feel great up there. <laughs> that decompression, that, it, it feels like that's just kind of been locked up. Oh, yeah forever you know so yeah that, that feels a ton but that's where i felt the most relief with the, Got it. the pool so yeah Got it. perfect so, yeah. was it was it worth the trip absolutely Got yeah might, might make it again so. <laughs> <laughs> when you're coming back through yeah yeah might definitely. have to figure that out <laughs> you guys look like you guys are about to do a beard oil commercial <laughs> <laughs> all right guys got me laughing now um i'm telling you you know if you're ever looking to come in to get the, you know, an adjustment done, get that wire strap done, what would you have to say to let anyone know at home who's thinking about it? Yeah, well, if you're if you're somebody like me that's that's, that's kinked up and you feel tension in, in your upper back or lower back or the mid back even. Anywhere. It just, it feels like even just that adjustment alone is gonna loosen you up and make you feel like your, your movement's back the way it was when you, when you came out your mama's womb. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, you have it literally right here. Um, go right to the website. You can schedule an appointment right on the website. Come on in and, you know, let me help you out, guys. Have a good one, everybody.